it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel and my bathroom. Today I want to just do like a really quick morning routine for springtime with a little bit of light makeup. I'm just going to get like ready for my work day at home. So if you guys are so ready, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> morning I just washed my face with water and a washcloth no really no need for cleanser especially with my sensitive skin I find that it just kind of helps me refresh my skin get clean and prepped for skincare without pushing my sensitive skin too far all right so first I'm starting off with the La Roche Posay thermal spring water mist I absolutely love this I know it seems like fancy water in a can and it is, <laughs> but this water is actually charged full of vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics for the skin. And I just find that it gives me that little hint of hydration. And this is not like a toner, just a little bit, but that little mist really refreshes my skin. And it really does seem to have like a over time, like a calming and soothing effect on my skin. And since it is still springtime and I am still dealing with a little bit of allergies, I have a little bit of facial pressure today. Um, I do find that just kind of keeping my my skin calm is always a good thing. So now I'm going to go in for a couple of layers of the Soon Jung Centella toner and this is basically empty. Um, I really enjoyed this bottle. I went through it super duper fast and honestly I will probably empty it when I use it tonight. Um, it's just like a really nice basic hydrating very simple kind of toner. I think it has a little bit of like a soothing effect on the skin but it's not like hits your skin immediately and it's like ah soothe. It's not quite like that, but I think that it does have just that little bit of calming property to it that my skin really does appreciate. And I'm going to do probably about three layers. This is my second uh, layer of toner. And I find that three layers is usually what works for my skin. If I'm feeling a lot more dehydrated, I might do a little bit more, but just based on starting off with the La Roche Posay mist, and then I have like a very hydrating essence that I'm going to use next, three really seems to do the trick. And I love that this toner is just really watery and quickly absorbed. There's really no moisture here, so it actually layers up on my skin really, really fast because my skin's thirsty. It just goes with any type of toner. So there's really not much downtime in between layers. This is the third layer here. And my skin just feels really good. It feels really refreshed. When I first wake up in the morning, like I'm just like, ooh, my skin just wants to drink in some skincare. So this just always has that really satisfying effect. And it kind of helps me, you know, wake up and get prepared for the day because I'm a little sleepy today. So next up is the Han Skin Hyaluron Skin Essence. And I like this because it gives me like a really big dose of like deep hydration, like a burst of hydration, but it's got a little bit of that hyaluronic acid. There's hydrolyzed collagen in here that gives that little bit of balancing, non-greasy, non-oily moisture. It really balances out my combination skin, which, you know, it is starting to warm up. Um, and I don't want as much moisture. So I'm kind of like, balancing out my routine. I do have some more moisturizing um, stuff later in the routine, so I wanted to keep it a little bit more on the lighter side with this essence. And every time I use this, like first of all, like it feels so luxurious because my fingertips are just like gliding across my skin, um, but I'm getting that beautiful hydration. And then when it absorbs, it makes your skin feel so plump. I am like addicted to that feeling. I love when my skincare just makes my skin feel plump and juicy and hydrated and make it look really good. And it's been a little bit more dehydrated with the springtime. Anytime like the weather shifts like drastically, my skin is more prone to dehydration. So I need all the plumping I can get and this really delivers. So next up, I'm gonna use the Allies of Skin Liquid Panacea. Now this is actually a really new um, serum for me. I haven't played around with it a ton, but I think it's great to start testing it in my morning routine because it's jam packed full of antioxidants. That's really what it's focused on. It also has some centella in it. It's got kombucha tea in it. It. and um, I've been enjoying it so far but it is still very very new so I don't want to say too much about it but it is focused on lots of antioxidants great protection for the morning time because that's going to really help protect your skin from UV along with your sunscreen and it's really focused on like firming the skin and you know I'm always looking for well aging wherever I can get it plus you know I like a creamy serum and this has that creamy like texture that I love I Love that. It's kind of hydrating. It's kind of moisturizing. My skin loves it. I enjoy it. So yeah, I'll definitely report back with some more information the longer I use it and the more 
kind of benefits that I start to notice or not right with it um, but so far so good really nice texture great ingredients so next i'm going to go in for the claire's fundamental eye awakening gel you know i love this i've been talking about it for years and years it's really nice for like the spring and summertime especially because it's this really nice kind of uh I'm trying to get it to there we go I'm trying to get it to focus this kind of like gel sort of texture which i really like because it's very hydrating and it gives that plumping um, sensation, which is great for under the eyes. Because if you have any like little bit of fine lines, like I definitely do, um, a little bit of hydration and plumping can help to smooth um, out the look of your fine lines. It can make it look a lot smoother, a lot firmer, and it can really kind of blur in, in a way the fine lines. So it's great to get some nice plumping hydration. This gel does have a little bit of balancing moisture to it as well, but it's not like... It's not like a heavy cream. It doesn't have a thick, greasy feel to it. It's, it's so refreshing. Um, again, totally great for the warmer weather. And um, I love it. So even though it is getting warmer, I'm still kind of struggling with dehydration. So barrier care is definitely going to play a role in my morning routine today um, just to make sure that my barrier stays nice and strong. So I am using liquid gold. My bottle, the um, print is completely peeling off. This happened with my last bottle and I think I figured out it's because this bathroom is so freaking humid when I take a shower because the fan is a little bit broken. I live in an apartment, <laughs> so I only have so much control over this, but there's not very good ventilation it's just really hard to get the humidity out and I've noticed this on some of the other bottles that have a similar print that the print is coming off of it so that's why it looks a little janky I'm so sorry it's not aesthetic but it still works and I am going to be using the ghost democracy soft glow facial oil I've been seeing this brand all over um, Instagram and um, I finally got to try some other products and this oil so I'm just going to do like a pump of liquid gold this oil is like the bomb. I'm loving this and I did not expect to like this at all. Um, it is a little bit of a droppy dropper. <laughs> like it just kind of, it's like hard to control. So I'm just trying to be careful and not get oil all over my counter. So I just did like three drops and I'm just mixing it in on the back of my hand and then I'll apply it. And this is just like, it's a really rich layer, but it kind of keeps things light um, with the absorbency because if I put them on separately, um, it would feel really thick on my skin. So I'm getting all the nourishment and all the barrier support, um, but just in a slightly lighter layer than if I had done them separately. Okay, so this Ghost Democracy oil, so, so good. There's so many great um, omega um, fatty acid oils in here. It is an oil blend that are really good for dehydrated skin. I've really been liking it. It's kind of like a medium weight oil. It is a little bit more on the moisturizing side, but that's kind of... It's really that fine balance right now that's kind of what my skin is needing. That's why I kept things so light at the beginning so I can pack in a little bit more moisture at the end um, and really hug that hydration into my skin. But I've really been enjoying the oil. My skin's really been drinking it up. It has a little bit of that like skin strengthening and slight skin soothing effect to it that I really like. So I just let that settle into my skin for like a minute or two and then I'm gonna go in for moisturizer. And like I said, I do wanna hug that hydration in. So I am gonna be going for the Illyune Ceramide Ado Concentrate Cream. I will probably be switching this out soon, probably next month, because um, I think this is gonna start to feel a little bit heavy depending on how warm it gets. Um, but for now, this is really kind of what my skin is wanting and needing. And I do need that little bit of occlusivity to fight, you know, that dehydrated, itchy, tight feeling in the middle of the afternoon. And that's definitely what this does. Okay, so I like to let my moisturizer just really like settle into my skin before I go in for sunscreen. So I like to just go and do something else while that happens. And what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to um, style my hair right now. I'm going to curl it really quickly. I'm probably going to like curl half of my hair put my um, sunscreen on and then curl the other half of it because my sunscreen also needs a dry time before I go straight in for makeup. You want to allow it to um, form that film. That's what protects your skin from the sun. So it is really good to like give yourself some time before going in with makeup. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to um, separate my hair in um, a top half and a bottom half. So my top layers will get 
um, curled last. So even though it seems like a pretty like elaborate skincare routine, it, it pretty much goes fast for me, especially when I'm not filming and narrating everything that I'm doing. Um, but like really this is the way to do it um, is to really kind of like stagger what you're doing, letting your skincare kind of sink in, go make some coffee, letting your oil sink in, you know, go change your clothes, doing your hair while your sunscreen sets. That's definitely the way to maximize your time in the morning while still doing that full skincare routine. So a lot of you guys do ask me how I curl my hair. This is how I do it. I do have a YouTube short you can check out um, that really details it. But what I do is I just kind of run my curling iron over the strand of hair first to kind of like warm it up and smooth it down. And then I kind of start like in the middle and then I wrap it up. You see how I kind of spiraled it up the barrel. Wait a little couple of seconds and then I sort of open up the clasp. I move down and then I twist back up again. And I just work my way down um, the hair. I don't bend the ends. I, let, I leave the ends out. And then that's what you get. Okay, so now that the bottom of my hair has been curled, I'm going to take a pause. I'm going to apply um, all of my sunscreen and then I'm going to go on with the rest of my hair. So I'm using the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics, which you know I'm absolutely obsessed with. My tube is almost gone and I do have a backup, so I'm all set. Um, and usually what I do is I start at the top of my head, really work it into um, like my hairline. Because I find like if I'm not like really on top of it, do you know what I mean? If I'm not like super paying attention, it's really easy to miss that. And since that is kind of like the high point, um, the sun really does actually hit your hairline quite intensely. So I try to start there and really be mindful as I work it in. And then I'll move to my cheekbones next, which is another kind of high point of the face where you're going to see a lot of times you'll get sun damage there, freckles, um, even like uh, when you get melanoma, um, if you get melanoma. Um, oftentimes I've heard dermatologists say you see it a lot around the top of the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, tops of the ears. Any kind of high point of your face is actually going to get a lot more sun exposure um, than the lower points, right? The dips or the values of your face. So I do a pretty generous amount. You know, I was having some problems with, this is a chemical sunscreen. I was having problems with chemical sunscreen about a month ago around my eyes um, because my allergies were just like so bad. The inflammation was just so bad. It was making my eyes super duper sensitive. But I'm not having that problem anymore. And this sunscreen actually didn't seem to bother me as much as the other ones, probably because this is um, like all new generation filters. I'm so funny. Sometimes I'm like so generous with my sunscreen and I don't like rub it in good enough. that like you'll see like the streaks, especially like on my neck or on my chest. It's kind of funny. I'm like, you know what? I'm just wearing my sunscreen. I'm just trying to do the right thing. But it's funny if you're not like really good at rubbing it in which sometimes I'm not. It's all applied. You can tell because it's quite shiny, right? That's because it hasn't completely formed that film yet. It hasn't completely settled into my skin. So that's why you really want to give it some dry time before you go in and apply makeup and start using brushes and stuff, which could interrupt, you know, the coverage that you're getting. So it's really important to let it dry. So I'm just going to finish up with the rest of my hair. Okay, my hair is all done. It's all fluffy and curly. And I'm just going to do some like quick light makeup. Um, you know, when I work from home, which is every single day um I usually don't even wear makeup but I have found that like sometimes I just feel a little bit more motivated when I like put on like kind of a cute top and like maybe I do a little bit of makeup or I like you know fix up my hair so that's kind of the day that I'm having today I'm just wanting to like kind of pull it together just a little bit more and this is something I do like if I have zoom calls and things like that so I'm gonna start off with the NYX bear with me concealer serum I just started using this and I am really impressed with it I didn't really know no, was it a concealer? Was it like a, a serum with coverage? But I've kind of been using it like a serum with coverage and it's got very good coverage. So like one pump, um, I just dot this across my face and then I buff it in and it just helps to even out my skin um, a little bit. Um, and it's got a little bit more coverage for my dark marks, but I'm not going to go in for like heavy concealer or touching up the spots because I just want like a nice even complexion, but I don't want to put in too much effort. So I'm just going to quickly um, do a 
a dusting of the can make translucent powder I just find that I have to I have to set things with powder but I did find um, that this actually this NYX um, concealer serum it really doesn't need a lot of touch-ups throughout the day at least um, that's what I've noticed on my skin which is super nice because you know sometimes the really like breathable and like kind of like BB cream types of products they do tend to slide around on your face a lot so you feel like you have to powder down a lot with them I actually just didn't feel like I had to do that with this at all um, like I said massively impressed okay so I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up and then I'm going to um, fill them in with the Urban Decay Ink to Brow. I've been really liking this for a long time now because it's like smudge proof um, brow uh, product. It's kind of like a, um, kind of like a liquidy, it's not even quite like a gel. Um, but I've been really enjoying this because, um, on the days, like I'm not wearing contacts, which is actually most days, um, I'm wearing glasses and my glasses do rub up against my eyebrows and then my brow product often smears, but this stuff really, it doesn't, it doesn't budge. Um, it claims that it like lasts for... I don't know, like it says like some crazy number, like 48 hours or something. It doesn't. Um, it definitely just washes right off your face um, at night very easily. It's not hard to remove, but it is hard to smudge when you are wearing it. Like it doesn't melt off of your face. And I actually, I used this when I went... Um, to a spa um so I was like in like the whirlpool like the hot tub and stuff oh I got a little bit heavy-handed but I'll show you how to fix that in a second um and it didn't melt off of my face I was sweating I went into like the sauna and stuff but this didn't come off but it washes off at the end of the night no problem so I've been a fan of this and it gives you clearly a dramatic payoff but I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second I'm just using like a little spoolie from um a different eyebrow product just to kind of brush through um, and make those strokes not so heavy handed um, and just more, more like evenly dispersed. And then I'm gonna fix this uh, really dark one. And then because it got a little heavy handed here, I'm just wiping it. And you have to make sure that you do this like before it fully like sets. Cause once it's set, it is, like I said, it's hard to budge. Um, but if it's still feeling a little moist, you can manipulate it, which is nice. Okay, so I put a little bit of eye primer on my lids. This is from Urban Decay, the uh, primer potion. I can't put any type of like eyeliner or mascara on without it um, because it just like smudges. So it's really important. I, it's a step I wish I could skip, but I just can't. Um, I'm going to go in for the Mimi Box, the Afternoon Tea. It's the blush and um, highlighter palette. Um, I'm going to go in for this kind of more like kind of tan, kind of naturally kind of blush. I'm just going to kind of put it on my cheeks and kind of blending it up into like my hairline because I feel like when you put your blush a little bit higher, it sort of lifts your face. Whereas if you put it like here, like if you, you know, you're, you're taught to like smile and then put it here, it actually like pulls your face down. So just kind of go to the highest cheekbone and just kind of blend it up. And then I'm gonna use the highlight um, color. It's kind of like this pearly, but kind of warm, slightly golden-y kind of highlighter. I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose because I think it looks super cute. I'm gonna go on the brow bone up at the top and I'm actually gonna just put a little bit like right on the center of my lids. I'm not really gonna do like an eyeshadow look today, but this just kind of like makes your eyes pop without having to go through like contouring and everything and then finally I'm just gonna do a little bit on the top of my cheekbone just to make everything pop and look glistening and beautiful so I'm gonna use the NYX epic ink eyeliner um, I'm loving this this is really easy to get um, any type of like liner look like a thick line or like a little line a winged line I really like it um, and it's a really nice bold black that stays put um, today I'm just gonna do something a little bit more like <laughs> I call it a tight line. It's probably not as tight um, as most people because it's not the liner, it's me. I just have a hard time tight lining. I always get like a really thick line, but I'm just gonna try to make it really subtle just to kind of help define my eye. And I'm, I'm trying to do this on camera. It's super duper hard, but I'm just kind of like pressing the liner kind of against my lash line and then just trying to hit my lid without like really drawing it. That helps me keep it like smaller and not as thick. 
So it's not dramatic, but it really just helps my eyes pop. And I'm gonna finish off with some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Bambi Eyes. This is the waterproof version. So I'm just gonna do one coat of mascara. If you want like a more dramatic look or a more lifted look, you can go for two um, coats, but I just wanna go with one because I'm just going for something just real quick and natural. And then finally, I'm just using the Make Serum Lip Balm. This is the color Nude, and it's like a balmy almost like a gel type of gloss it feels really really nice um and like moisturizing and not sticky or thick on the lips and it really just has like the like the faintest hint of color to it it's not much it looks great topped off on lipstick colors but i'm just keeping things real airy real light real simple today so this is great because it keeps my lips moisturized comfortable non-sticky, but just that little hint of color that kind of just brings a little bit more life to my face, makes me feel awake and makes me feel ready for my day. So this is the look. It's just, it's really easy um, and fast and it just makes me feel a lot more put together um, and ready to face the day without having to do like a full, 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 full face of makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, if you're not already, if you want to see some more skincare videos just like this one. All right. I hope you're healthy, happy, and safe, and I'll talk to you soon.